gonna say a new vlog, but I guess welcome to a vlog. Ignore my redness, I just put some oil and I get red if I touch my skin. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. I don't have a lot of time to catch up with you, but I promise I'll do a proper catch up because it's been a really long time since we've talked. I think not my last time um, in Paris, but the time before. If you can hear Dylan, he's just trying to <laughs> close the balcony door because we are currently in beautiful Cannes with Chanel Beauty. Uh, I thought I would vlog this trip because it's gonna be a really fun one and I want to have the memories so I'm not back vlogging but I am vlogging this whole trip and showing you guys what I'm up to and what we're up to while we're here right now we're really rushing because we had so many delays with our flights so we had to get ready in such a rush and join the welcome dinner with the rest of the team so we really got to get out of the hotel room I'm out of breath even talking to you but yeah, we're all ready and we are about to grab dinner with everyone and I'll catch up with you a bit later. I just wanted to get the intro of this vlog done, say hi, I'm really happy to talk to you guys and share with you what we're doing here. I'm going to get Dylan to show you um, my outfit at some point and yeah, let's get this started. Actually, here is my full look. I've got this top from... Zara, these pants from Aritzia. I'm going to try to link everything that I can find in the description box. I've got my classic Chanel slingbacks, this little handbag that I have on loan, my beautiful watch gifted from Chanel, and in my hair I have a camellia also gifted from Chanel. And Dylan's look is really good too. You're so tall, I can get you in the frame. But he's wearing this like two-piece set with some really cool vintage Bali sandals and a lot of accessories. Let's go. We just made it to the dinner spot. Is this focusing? Um, we're a bit late, so this is where they had the cocktail overlooking the beautiful water. It's so stunning. And then everyone is just sitting at dinner over there. So I gotta go and meet them, but I just wanted to show you the views because it's so pretty. Just back to the hotel after a beautiful dinner. The food was amazing. Dinner was on the beach. The scene was beautiful. We had such a great time catching up with everyone. Such fun times. Do you recognize yeah, it was really, really nice. What are you saying? Do you recognize anybody at the dinner? No, I didn't. Dylan is just in the bathroom, just chatting with me. Uh, we're back at the room now and we're getting ready to go to bed because we're super jet lag. It's close to midnight Might actually be midnight and we have a super early day tomorrow because tomorrow is like the biggest day of this trip We're doing a lot of there's a lot of round tables and we're gonna learn about makeup obviously and a lot of different things there's a whole experience tomorrow the whole day so I'm really excited for this but um yeah busy day tomorrow so we have to catch a good night of sleep otherwise we're gonna be we're gonna be really tired um but when i got in i we were in such a rush that i didn't open the little package that the chanel team left in the room so i wanted to open them with you and yeah we're gonna do that dylan dylan's just eating a brownie from <laughs> Leftover dinner, I ate mine in the car. It was delicious. It's raspberry in it. It's mm -hmm. so good. And what do we have in there? We have a book, first of all, which looks amazing. It's called The Secret Lives of Colors. And I have a feeling tomorrow the whole theme of the day is going to be around like exploring colors and like different ways to use colors and what they mean. And I don't know. We're going to see what's in store for us tomorrow. But excited to give that a read 
at the airport on the flight back it seems really interesting so this is a beautiful book and then we have something in here Ooh, look how nice the color is of this compact oh so i have this compact in black and i've had it for years i've had it for like 10 years i think so this is really nice to have a fresh and new one in this nice color really really nice and then we have oh we have two two mirrors Ooh, this one is so beautiful i don't think the camera's gonna pick it up but it's like this tone on tone burgundy color really really pretty i've never seen chanel do any like colored stuff like that there's a, a theme going on and then we have something in here well that's what julie was talking about these are nail files they come in these like little velvety pouch and there are these colorful nail files So cute they're like glass so nice and then in the other bag we have a lot of makeup <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna go through everything but we have four uh nail polishes we have some baume essentiel which is my absolute favorite product from chanel a few actually a lot of rouge velvet allure lipsticks and then a eyeliner actually i ran out of mine so this is gonna be useful oh this one's in like a burgundy shade and then we have a, a mascara and an eyeshadow palette i want to see what the colors are Oh, stunning I actually have this one at home and I use it all the time so it's a nice little refill I love these colors for like the crease and it's very natural but also defines the the eye very nice thank you so much Chanel Beauty I can't wait to use these I'm gonna put this in this in my makeup bag for tomorrow and one of these in my handbags um, so yeah, right now we're just gonna go to bed. Are you organizing your suitcase? No. No. Yeah, we're just gonna go to bed early, schedule breakfast, and get up early to edit the photos that we took tonight and get on with the day. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Just woke up in beautiful Cannes. I'm so excited. I've already done, I woke up super early, I woke up at 6 and I've already done my skincare routine and put on these amazing eye patches by Chanel. Um, these are the best, they're really great at depuffing and I really need it, but the view is so beautiful this morning. I think it's going to be such a nice day, the sky is clearing out, this morning it was quite, they're cleaning the streets so Sorry if you can hear that, but yeah, this morning it was super hazy and now it's slowly clearing out a little bit, so really excited. I just need to start getting ready. I think breakfast is on the way and get dressed and then we'll get going. Super excited. Look at our beautiful breakfast. Is this my granola? Yeah, yogurt. Oh, yogurt with like chia in it? Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then we've got smoked salmon, a very cute little omelette, some scrambled eggs, green juice, viennoiserie, and a big pot of coffee. Okay, I'm fully ready. I have these a beautiful Chanel earrings, a little black bow in my hair. Sure if you can see it. I just filmed a little reel for Instagram where I showed all my outfits so you guys can go check it out over there but I'm still going to show you very quickly in the mirror. I have this shade of 
and croissant all over my my lips but i have this shade of rouge coco balm on right now and i really like it it's like a very subtle maybe it's too bright you can't see a subtle corally pink it looks like this the color and it's 916 flirty coral i'm gonna link it below but i just got it yesterday in the package that they left in the room and i really like it by the way if i sounded delusional trying to explain what i what was left in the room and trying to unbox everything it's because we were running on not a lot of sleep and yeah i haven't been vlogging in a long time and i don't know i don't even know what i said so here's my full look with my beautiful bag uh, i'm wearing this totem strapless top with some aritzia babaton little trousers that i'm really obsessed with they're so chic with this outfit i bought them specifically to wear with this top because the matching totem trousers didn't really suit me that well and then i have my classic sling back i have a lot of other options but these are the most comfortable and we're going to be standing off not all day but most of the day i think and then the earrings little bow and i'm probably going to grab a pair of sunglasses on my way out we just made it to the venue for today's event. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I think it's Villa Navarra um, in Cannes, or just a little bit outside of Cannes actually. So I'm gonna put it on the screen so that you guys can look it up if you want to. But it's so beautiful. the hotel and we went straight to the pool it was so hot towards the end of the day at the venue that um, we were craving some pool time so that's what we're doing now until dinner tonight with the whole team it should be really fun I'm not sure where we're going yet but I mean it's on the itinerary but I can never remember but I'm in the mood for some nice seafood and some nice Riviera food here is my second dinner look. This one was a bit of a difficult one, but I managed to find something. I had to go with 
my second option for tonight but i think it looks pretty nice i'm wearing this h&m linen shirt the same chanel bag these reformation linen pants they're different than the ones from yesterday this, these ones have a drawstring instead of a zip my gold chanel shoes chanel sunglasses from a long time ago and in my hair i have this camellia clip and some little cos gold hoops to kind of tie the gold accent together and that's it dylan you should show your look too because it's the thing is dylan's look is so good that i had to it's kind of <laughs> match it but i did a really bad job but dylan's wearing this what's the brand of this mm, nurse projects okay little polo top some Jacques Marimage sunglasses. These really fun, very Riviera pants. Cotton pants. I forget the brand of this, but I'm going to link. Come, which one? Espacy. Espacy? Yeah. From Louisa Via Roma and the same Bali vintage sandals. So we're very white linen, French Riviera style. I think it's on the wrong autofocus. Yeah. Whatever. Good morning, guys. What? Mm. I need to brush my teeth too. It is Friday. It's our last day. Did I zoom in? It's our last day in Cannes today. We are heading to the Picasso Museum this morning which I'm really excited about. And then we're gonna have a lunch at the Carlton Beach Club, which I'm also super excited to try out. And then this afternoon, I think we have pretty much free time to just be on the beach if the sun is coming out. I think it's starting to clear out, but this morning it was a little bit gray, uh, but still really beautiful. So really excited for this last day in Cannes. Kind of sad to leave tomorrow, but every good things What's the saying? Every good thing has to come to an end? Something like that. It was really brief, but it was really, really nice. We had a really good time. And today, we still have time to enjoy ourselves, so I'm excited. I am going to show you my look very quickly. Grab my hat, because it's part of it. You can probably hear Dylan brushing his teeth in the bathroom right here. Um, I'm wearing this little chanel top that i have on loan with the same aritzia pants that i wore earlier i thought it was really kind of like chic as a set together like that all black and then i'm wearing some really old raffia slides with my little raffia vintage hat i thought that was a sweet little look and i also have these chanel earrings that i also borrowed for this trip and then i have sunglasses the same handbag that i've been wearing this whole trip that's it for today completely 
did not update you today at all i feel like we went to the picasso museum this morning and i didn't really vlog in there and then this afternoon we had lunch at the beach club and we also did a beautiful shoot by the water and in the water it was a bit chaotic but everybody came together and i think we got amazing shots but i didn't get to pick up my camera because i was so involved in the whole photo shoot so sorry about that but it's our last dinner and i had to do something very creative with my hair because it was full of salt from the water and i really didn't have time to wash my hair or anything so i had to put something together and i think it looks kind of cute but you let me know um and i'm re-wearing the outfit that i wore the other day for the event because i don't have time and i know this is a good look so getting a lot of wear out of it and now we're late and we gotta head out to our last dinner last and final morning in Cannes and we're just having breakfast outside it's so beautiful here on this big patio and it's overlooking the well there's a big construction thing but it's overlooking the sea and the food is amazing we kind of already ate and I forgot to show you but here are the remains delicious breakfast the food is so fresh obviously in France and one bite or no <laughs> thank god I had my napkin on my lap it mm. came out mm. Dylan wants to go for a one last swim before we leave and then we gotta get to the airport around noon so it's nice we had a little bit of time this morning to do the final things that we wanted to get done before heading out but yeah we had a really nice trip sad though we have to go this morning though I wish we could stay a bit longer can is so nice everything and take some time to like catch up and tell you everything that's been going on in my life and like why I haven't been vlogging and just sit down and chat with you but then I had another opportunity that came up with Chanel to come to New York which I'm actually in New York uh, right after Cannes and I thought I'm not gonna finish my vlog and I'm gonna put New York into the South of France vlog and then it's like a really nice Chanel vlog for you guys to look at and enjoy and it kind of made sense too together so i thought i'm gonna put these two vlogs together and then kind of recap all at the end uh it all happened so fast i had a wonderful shoot yesterday with a magazine my first magazine spread ever uh in print so i'm going to talk to you about that when i come home because i need to like get my head around everything that happened this week but for now, I'm in New York. Um, I'm currently in Soho. Just finished lunch with the Chanel team. It was a really beautiful lunch. And now we're about to go to um, 
the fragrance atelier or I think it's just like the Chanel atelier in, so in Soho and I'm gonna do a full sort of like fragrance discovery um, to get to know my perfect fragrance from the Chanel I already have so many fragrances that I love from Chanel so I'm really curious to do the whole like sensory experience to see which fragrance I end up in the end because I hope it's gonna be one that I like there's so many that I can just smell and know what they are that I'm curious to see how I'm gonna live through the experience and see if I recognize a lot of them and kind of make my way through my favorite or if I'm gonna get so surprised and end up with a fragrance that I never knew before and like a brand new Chanel fragrance for me. So I'm really excited to, to experience that and spend time with the Chanel team here in New York. We have a bunch of things planned, but it's a very quick trip. I'm flying back tomorrow. Um, we have dinner tonight with everyone, and then tomorrow we're seeing the Carl exhibit at the Met, which I'm so excited to see too. So it's gonna be a really quick but fun trip. So I thought I would take you along, uh, film and vlog as much as I can. I didn't vlog on um, yesterday's shoot because it was too crazy. I was the model, so it was a bit... Um, I couldn't get my camera out at just whenever I wanted, but I'm gonna talk to you about it. But for now, let's enjoy New York and I'm gonna show you as much as I can from my trip and hope you guys enjoy. actually I made it to the hotel I just checked in uh, for the first time today and what time is it it's about seven um, we walked around this afternoon after we finished with the atelier beauté um, and yeah we had such a nice time but now I just finished editing my stories um, of the experience and uploading them um, on Instagram and I just had time to get ready and now I got to meet the team it's really blue and weird but whatever I'm meeting a team downstairs for drinks before we head uh, for dinner so I'm going to show you my quick look that I put together with half of it um, that I wore today and just swap for a skirt instead of jeans and I changed my shoes so let me just show you so I'm wearing the same Aritzia vest that I had today and I just switched for a little bit more of a feminine look for tonight with this cotton skirt and these little silver Mary Jane shoes I thought it would be nice and then I'm wearing my premiere watch some pearl earrings and then I have this really cute Chanel little handbag that I have on loan from the brand so I'm gonna carry this tonight with me Friday morning it's the next day and it's about 7 a.m. I think I just ordered myself some room service I just actually finished I ate it while talking to Dylan catching up in our mornings separate um, but yeah yesterday night was super nice the dinner 
I'm gonna put the restaurant on the on the screen of the footage from last night, but dinner was delicious such good company really great laughs <laughs> we had a really good time i just wanted to catch you up on the fragrance experience that i did yesterday at the soho um atelier beauté so in soho chanel has this atelier beauté which is a space where you can play with the makeup experiment come in with a friend try anything that you want pretty much it's kind of like a showroom but for, for customers to test the products and get recommendations I guess like get your perfect foundation match things like that and in this space they have a sort of like fragrance discovery room which yesterday I had the chance to experience and there's a fragrance expert there that takes you through the journey of all of the fragrances of the Chanel house of, of perfume and um there's there's so many of them i think there's 51 of them and none of them have names on them so it's like a blind discovery um they're grouped per family of scents so like amber floral light floral citrus etc and i know a lot of chanel fragrances because i've been wearing them and loving them for years but i was so surprised to discover so many scents that I had never smelled before. It was truly amazing. My camera ran out of battery in the middle of my sentence. Where was I? Um, yeah, at the end, once you're done smelling all of the fragrances and kind of um, telling the fragrance expert your preferences and what you feel when you smell them, memories, or if it like uh, brings up anything to you, um, she puts in front of you your three favorite scents throughout the experience and mine were really unpredicted I I got really surprised by it which was really really amazing one of them was um, beige which I had never smelled before the second one was gardenia which is so floral and beautiful and now I just want to go back to a store and smell them and the last one which was the most iconic one was number 19 which was created personally for Gabrielle Chanel guys I have to switch to my phone because my camera my SD card is full and I keep trying to delete some footage but I have my footage from Ken on the same SD card and I don't want to lose anything and make a mistake so I'm sorry about the probably really bad quality of this but I'm gonna continue vlogging on my phone um, for the rest of this trip because I don't want to miss any opportunity to talk to you guys but at the same time I can't be bothered with the digital camera right now so what was I saying my final scent my favorite scent was number 19 which I had never smelled before and I've never knew um, until yesterday <clears throat> and it was yeah Gabrielle Chanel's per like personal scent that she got made for her and that wasn't even sold at the time now it is but when it was created it wasn't meant to be sold uh, in stores or anything like that which was super special and I ended up leaving with a sample of all of my three favorite fragrances from the discovery which is really cute they come in these like little little tiny bottles so today I'm gonna wear one of them um, to do the rest of the activities that we have planned for this trip so yeah highly recommend if you're in soho if you're in the area pop in there i think it's by appointment it must be by appointment and if you can do this this experience if you're into fragrances this is a really nice intimate discovery i really enjoyed it um but yeah i'm just finishing my coffee I think I'm gonna go for a walk because I still have a bit of time before I have to meet everyone. Um, today we are visiting the <clears throat> Carl Lagerfeld exhibit at the Met, which is gonna be really fun. Then we're grabbing lunch and then heading home already. Such a quick trip, but it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. After Cannes, it's nice to be in New York. It's a really big clash. I actually have a tiny, if I tilt my head like this, I have a tiny view of Central Park. So I feel like I'm just gonna get out, go to Central Park and walk around a little bit. Um, walk in the park, see what's up. I love to walk around in the morning in the city that I don't live in and just 
look at people, especially during the week, today's Friday. I like to see what people's mornings are like. I don't know, that's weird, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish my coffee and my green juice and I'm gonna get going before I meet everybody else. since I've been back from New York and Cannes. Um, I just wanted to sit down and probably talk to you, catch up with you because I haven't had any opportunities during this vlog to kind of just sit and chat and yeah, just tell you what's been going on. Um, what's new? Dylan and I have been planning our wedding for the past year almost I want to say we're getting married in three months which is so crazy we were saying the other day that time flies so fast towards the end like close to the wedding um we kind of don't want to think about it but we're super excited everything almost everything is done uh, we're getting married at the end of September in Quebec City and it's gonna be hopefully super nice <laughs> but yeah we're super excited about it so We've been doing a lot of that in the past few months. I went to France quite a bit in the past few months as well. I've had a lot of work trips, which has been really, really great. And I haven't really picked up my camera for anything in a really long time, just cause I, well, first of all, I've been working, Dylan and I have been working on a very special personal project together for, over a year now and I'm not quite ready to share anything with um, the public just yet. We'll be ready in a couple months but before that we want to keep it to just us and keep working on it until it's ready to launch and to share but something very exciting that's coming up. And yeah, I just wanted to vlog this trip because I thought it would be great memories uh, to look back on and also I thought it would be fun for you guys to see what we're up to a little bit and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it even though there's not always like vlog consistently coming on my youtube channel um, I think it's gonna remain like this for the future as well I'm gonna vlog only when I see like a great opportunity to create content video wise and I hope that you guys are okay with that. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this vlog. I hope that it was fun to come to Cannes with us. We had such a great time. I really want to thank Chanel Beauty for all these opportunity. Um, it was we had such a great time it went by way too fast and it feels like forever ago now um, that we're back home but yeah we're very grateful and it was amazing 
What else is new? My sister had a baby back in February, so we've been going back and forth quite a bit and I miss her every time, I miss them actually, every time I am back home. So I try to go as much as I can and it's summer now, so we're just enjoying being home and going away on the weekend, hanging out with friends and yeah, not much has changed actually. We've just been living in the same place and working on this big project of ours which I decided not to vlog anything that's why I kind of stopped vlogging on a more regular basis because I wanted to really take the time to just do that and this is something that's not really attached to my social media or my sort of image if I can say so it was a project that's kind of outside of this a project that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I'm really really excited about and yeah I'm I can't wait to share more with you when it's actually ready and I'm proud of the state that it's at not that I'm not proud at the moment but I really have kind of big hopes for this and I really want to share it when it's perfect so stay tuned but what else I have launched my collection with Le Wee Violet which has been such a dream and that has been taking a lot of my time over the last year um, and a little bit on the year before because it was like a year and a half I guess that we've been working on that um, I don't know if some of you guys got your hands on one of the bag um, but if so I know a lot of you guys bought it so on Instagram I got a lot of DMs saying that you guys got your hands on it so if so just let me know if you like it or not I, I love them I've been wearing mine like all the time every day it's just my everyday bag the black one's my favorite in particular but now that it's super nice out I'm gonna get the cream out and the brown for the fall I'm still so in love with them and I'm happy to share that we are releasing new colors for November so stay tuned there's new colors coming your way which is so exciting and yeah I think that's all I have to update you on broadly um, you can always follow on my Instagram to see what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis everything is on there and as far as the wedding goes you'll also be able to see everything on my Instagram I I won't be vlogging any of it because it's such a big life event and I want to be fully in it and same for the honeymoon we actually are going to Italy south of Italy I am so thrilled and so excited about this trip that's coming up with Dylan we really need a proper vacation just the two of us with no work so that's gonna be super fun and yeah also I'm gonna share a little bit of that on my Instagram but make sure to follow me there if you want to keep up with what I'm doing in an everyday because I don't know when the next vlog is going to be. <laughs> I have no idea. So I hope that you guys enjoyed catching up a little bit, seeing what we're up to, and I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.